Hey guys, got another review for you. What you're looking at here is the Sony SRS TP1 stereo speaker system. Um, if you guys want a mnemonic, I, I just think surround sound toilet paper one. Uh, it's just how I remember it when I'm going to go look it up. Anyways, uh, a friend of mine, she's been traveling for a while and she let me borrow this. And seriously, since I started this little uh, YouTube page, I've got to handle a lot of cool stuff, like a lot of cool toys and stuff. But this is one of the few things where I was like, that's a really good deal. And this is actually a very useful item. Um, when I travel, I know it's a luxury item, but I can't live without music. Uh, I love listening to music. It just helps the time pass by when you're waiting at an airport or a train station or a bus stop. And uh, sometimes, uh, if you're in a hostel room or a campsite, you want to put on speakers so that you can listen to the music and also share the music with the people around you. Uh, but there are a few limitations to that, and I'll get to that in a second, and as to why I really like this product. In fact, after this, I'm probably going to go out and buy it myself. Um, these are basically portable speakers that you can take with you to use with uh, a portable MP3 player. And uh, basically what you have here is, uh, snaps in here, this is, it has its own little headphone jack, pops out right here, and it has like a little recess where it kind of slides in. As you can see here, it kind of folds in through there. Like so, and then you pull that out, and then basically you fold this open, like so, opens up, and then it kind of folds back, and then it leans in like so, like that, and then the front becomes its own stand, so you don't need a stand at all, so this is the speaker. And one of the limitations, I, I actually did buy my own portable speakers when I was traveling, and I didn't like them at all, and I ended up ditching them, I think I gave them away to somebody, for uh, several reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, portable speakers uh, back in the day, or at least a year ago, were really bulky, and uh, this is really slim. Actually, to give you a size comparison, let me just grab this can of Coke and close this up just to give you an idea. It's about as tall as a can of Coke and pretty slim. Um, so I, once you have it packed away and then the cord wrapped around, uh, this packs way into nothing. So, I mean, it doesn't take up any space. Pretty lightweight. Uh, I don't have the technical specs for the weight, but it doesn't feel very heavy. I'm guessing around, oh, say five ounces. Uh, let me just fold this up. Another thing that I like is, in addition to being thin, is uh, when I had portable speakers, they ended up using batteries. And portable speakers that use batteries suck up energy like crazy. I mean, I probably would get like three, maybe four hours of listening time, then I'd have to buy a whole nother set of batteries, and that gets expensive, especially if you're in a place like Europe. Uh, these run off of whatever MP3 device you're plugging it into, so that's really great. Basically, all you gotta do is plug in the head jack, and the power comes in through the head jack, so that's awesome. All you gotta worry is uh, about powering your MP3 player. Other than that, that's fine. And another thing is, uh, for a lot of portable speakers, the sound sucks, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it into my Sony Walkman, previously reviewed, and I'm gonna play a couple of songs. And I know this is from a video, so there's no way you're gonna really know what the sound fidelity is like uh, unless you listen to it in person. But uh, hopefully this will give you an idea. So let me see if I can pull up. Do, 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 folder. Um, I'll just crank up the volume a little bit. So that's not bad. Now what you'll find is the sound comes mainly from the front. There's also a vent in the back, so the sound comes from the back. The only weak spot is the fact that mainly the sound comes from the back and from the front. If you're at an angle on the side of the speakers, uh, you're not actually going to get the full force of it. So you did have to have the speakers facing you or facing away from you. From the lateral sides, though, you're not going to get as much sound. You can still hear it, but it's just not quite as loud and it's not as much punch. Uh, just to give you another something acoustic. Just to give you an idea of like how it performs at the highs, the lows, and the different types of levels. Right, just forward through this. Hopefully that should give you guys an idea of how it sounds louder. It's a little bit less from the sides. And the bass is actually pretty decent for small speakers actually. 
and the only way you're gonna be able to limit the volume you have, the one thing is there's no volume control. Basically, you just plug it in, you get sound. So if you're gonna adjust volume, you have to do it from the player. Um, all this is is just the speakers. No switches, no on or off button. So you basically just plug it in. But yeah, um, these speakers are great. And the thing that really kicked me is when she told me how much she bought. I think she bought this at Target for 20 bucks. And that's amazing. You're getting this lightweight, easy to use, low power consumption, great sound in this tiny little package here. And it's only 20 bucks at Target. So uh, seriously, I'm actually gonna go buy a pair for myself uh, for when I go traveling next time. So that's my review of the Sony SRS TP1 portable speakers. Um, if you guys can't live without music and you want to share your tunes with your friends while on the move, um, give this a shot. I think you'll like it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a great day.